short run production function is relationship in between the factors of production and the output in short run the short run production function is also known as law of return to factor or law of variable proportion this is called variable proportion it means the proportion of fixed factor and variable factor can be vary that's why this is called variable proportion and after changing variable factor the return of variable factor will be studied here that's why this is called return to a factor or return to variable factor okay now uh, let me explain here this law this law states that when a producer uses more and more variable factor combining with fixed factor in that condition the marginal productivity of variable factor starts declining Symbol symbolically we can explain this here fixed factor that is capital it remains fixed but number of labors can be changed if producer increasing number of labors more and more in uh, number of labors are using so the marginal productivity of laborers starts declining this is the law of variable proportion now we will discuss this law with the help of tabular presentation i already explained how to draw the curve for total production marginal production and average production here we are discussing the law of variable proportion and in this ex, uh, in this video i am uh, i will tell you about the trick how to make tabular presentation for tp ap and mp okay there is a trick that is very simple so that you can make the whole table without uh, without any given numbers in the example or without any illustration you can make your own tabular presentation okay but keep the trick in your mind first one capital capital remains constant and the capital will not be used in the graph so you can take any number i have taken one you can take 10 also 2 also 3 also you can take any number for the capital for labor starting if laborers are zero i have uh, i'm taking zero also zero one after then i am increasing laborers one by one okay one additional unit i use 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 laborers okay now tp ap i will write later first of all fill the column for marginal productivity as we know that the marginal productivity for variable factor is starting from minimum point increasing reaches to maximum then start declining become zero and negative so we will fill this column first okay this stage i have taken zero for the labors if variable factor is not there then who will work with machine in that condition total production will be zero total will be zero and ap and mp will remain undetermined okay so i have remained that place as blank after then first labor when one labor or one variable factor is using with the combination of fixed factor in that condition suppose that mp is 2 after then it will increase 3 one more labor is using 4 assume that it is the maximum marginal productivity okay after this number the marginal productivity for variable factor starts declining with more and more labor again 3 2 1 okay it will reach to 0 then become negative minus 1 minus 2 so after 
putting all the values into the MPs column, we can make total production with the help of marginal production. As marginal production is the addition, uh, is the difference of total production. Okay? And the total production is addition of marginal units. Such as total production, initially it is zero. And with one unit of labor, this is, uh, this is, it will be two, zero plus two. Next is two plus three, five, five plus four, nine, nine plus three, twelve, twelve plus two, fourteen, plus one, fifteen, plus zero, fifteen, minus one, fourteen, minus two, twelve. Okay? This is the total production. But how do we calculate average production? Average production, it can be calculated by TP divided by labor. Dividing total production by average production. First number remains 2. 5 divided by 2, 2.5. 9 divided by 3, it is 9. 12 by 4, uh, sorry, it is 3. 12 by 4 is 3. 14 divided by 5, it means 2.8. Okay. Marginal productions column. First, we will fill this column. And I assumed... <coughs> That at the initial stage when laborers are zero, in that condition total production will be zero and marginal production remains undetermined. So I uh, left it blank. Then you have to write your own numbers so you can take. But what is the important thing? Initially MP starts with minimum level, reaches to maximum start declining become zero and then negative this is the main thing which we have to follow okay after creating the column for marginal productivity we can easily create we can easily calculate total production with the help of marginal production how do you calculate tp first at zero laborers tp is also zero at one labor marginal productivity we have written two it means total production will be 2 because 2 plus 0, 2. Then 2 plus next marginal productivity is 3. 2 plus 3. That is so by this way we can calculate total production. And after dividing TP by L, we can calculate average production like 2 by 1, 2, 5 by 2, 2.5, 9 by 2. So this is the tabular presentation for TP, AP and MP. Now, it's a turn to construct total production, average production and marginal production. On x-axis, there is labor. On y-axis, there is total production, average production and marginal production. Labor, number of labor is maximum 9. I have taken up to 10. And uh, total production, average production, and marginal production, all three started from 2. And the maximum number is 15. So in this scale, I have taken maximum number as 16. And minimum started from 1. Okay. And negative numbers also we have to take because marginal production goes into negative numbers. First, we will make the graph for total production. The one unit of labor with one uh, with fixed factor is giving two units for total production, two uh, unit of labor and five units of total production, then three units and nine units, three and nine. Here, three and nine. Okay. 
4 and 12. This is 12 and there is 4. After then 5 and 14. Then 6 and 15. Six and fifteen, seven and again fifteen. Again it is fifteen at eight. It is fourteen. At nine it is twelve. So after adjoining all these points, we will get total production curve. There is TP. This is total production curve. Okay. Next we will make average production curve. Average is also starting from point 2. Then it is 2.5. That is approx value I am marking 2.5. It is in between 3 and 2. Then the average production is 3. Average production is 3. For 3, for 4 it is also 3, at 5 unit of labor it is 2.8, 2.8 will be greater than 2.5 and then 2.4 it is below 2.5, then 2.1 At 8, it is 1.7. At 9, it is 1.3. Slowly, it is declining, but it will not be 0. It will never touch x axis. It will be parallel to x axis. Never touches x axis. Now we will make marginal productivity curve. First point at 2. Second point 3. This is 3. At third point it is 4. And this is the maximum number. At 4 it is 3. At 5 it is 2. At 6 it is 1. At 7 it is 0. At 8 it is minus 1. And at 9 it is minus 2. So after adjoining all these points we will get the MP curve. This MP curve is like that. Increasing reaching to my maximum. Declining reaches to 0. Become 0 and then become negative. Okay. So, in this graph we will explain three stages for the production. First, just like we know that short run production function is uh, about marginal productivity. Marginal productivity maximum, marginal productivity zero, marginal productivity negative. So, from there, from this table, we can easily understand all three stages. Our first stage of the production, it is 2, 3, 4. When a, your MP is maximum, 
till then the first stage of production will be there and when mp is zero till that second stage up to zero mp second stage of the production will be there and in the negative marginal productivity there is the third stage of production so all these numbers can be easily uh, or identified in the graphical presentation also here i marked different lines to separate all three stages first line i have marked from the uh, maximum marginal production that is for 3 units of labor from 3 units i will mark a line up to tp this line is passing by maximum average production maximum marginal production and total production here next second line we will mark second line from the zero marginal productivity and zero marginal productivity is at 7 units of labor 7 units of labor we construct a perpendicular from x axis or from 7 unit of labor to total production curve so by drawing these two lines we are having three sections in our graph in graphical presentation first section it is uh, from this section tp ap and mp all three are increasing in this stage this stage is known as the first stage in second stage tp is still increasing but mp is declining after reaching maximum and ap is also declining after reaching maximum but in the second stage mp is zero and when mp is zero tp is maximum okay here mp is zero mp maximum at this point ap is also maximum but in third stage tp is declining ap is declining mp is also declining and becoming negative 